Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology faculty of Medicine Mansoura University. Let us try to answer this ask. What is shown in this picture? And do comment on fetal well-being and the progress of life. Of course, what is shown in this picture, the answer is, this is partogram for a case in active labor. First, the comment on fetal well-being will include the fetal heart rate, the amniotic fluid, and the molding of the skull. So, what about fetal heart rate? At the start of the active stage of labor, the first stage of labor, fetal heart sound 140, 130, ranging within normal, as you see in this curve. But after six hours, drop happened to 100 and below 100 beat per minute or 90 beat per minute. So this is bradycardia means fetal distress. What about the amniotic fluid? Amniotic fluid, as you see here, at the start of the active stage of labor, the amniotic fluid was clear and still clear for up to five hours when it, it becomes bloody. Remain bloody till six hours from the start of the active stage, then become meconium stain, letter M. from six to seven hour from the start of the active stage of labor. Meconium stain means there is fetal distress. So there is bradycardia, there is meconium stain, like What about molding? At the start of the active stage, there is one degree molding. After four hours, becomes grade two molding. This means there is cephalopelvic disproportion, so they had try with molding to coap to decrease the diameter to facilitate the the descent of the head in the pelvis. But after seven hours from the active stage, there is third degree molding. This means there is a problem of the descent of the head. There is cephalopelvic disproportion. So, as a, the first part of the question here, what is this? This is a partogram. For a case in active labor, recording the labor events. Comment on the fetal well being. There is fetal bradycardia occurred after six hours from the start of the active stage. Before that, fetal heart rate was good. After six hours, there is bradycardia. What about amniotic fluid? It was clear at the start, then become bloody, then become meconium stain. This is mean there is a fetal distress. What about molding? Yes, there is first degree molding from the start of the active stage, become second degree molding, become third degree molding. This means there is a problem in the, in the pelvis or there is cephalopelvic disproportion. What about the progressive labor? 
progressive labor include cervical dilatation and the letter X denoting the cervical dilatation at this moment. This is the curve for cervical dilatation and the letter O for the head descent. This is the curve of head descent. As you see here, it is straight line. What else? How many contractions per 10 minutes? As you see here, stripe three squares becomes colored at the end. Three to four contraction per 10 minutes. Okay, so we should comment on cervical dilatation, head descent, and how many contractions Per 10 minutes and what is the result of this at the end and the mode of delivery such case. okay as you see here the start of the active stage of labor at 4 centimeter after 4 hour cervix becomes 6 centimeter dilated and this is a protracted cervical dilatation slowly progressing but after three hours it remains the same six centimeter so there is a rest of dilatation here start by slowly progressing cervical dilatation then a rest of dilatation in the next three hours and it crossed the alert line which is alarming for us there is something wrong as regards the progress of labor of cervical dilatation and also crossing the alert line the action line so we have alert and the action line this is wrong action line this is action line and this is the alert line so it crossed the both of them alert and the action so i should take a decision what about head descent at the start, three-fifths of the head was filled abdominal. After four hours, remaining the same, three-fifths of the head filled abdominal. So the head is not yet engaged. After another three hours, seven hours from the active stage, the head remained the same. Three fifths of the head is felt abdominally, so it is not engaged, and there is no head descent. As you see, this is a straight line. So we call it a rest of the head descent. So there is a problem. We have a problem with cervical dilatation, crossing the alert and the action line. We have a problem with the head descent. There is a rest of the descent seven hours after starting the active stage of labor because three-fifths of the head is still fell abdominal although there is a good uterine contraction how i know there is a good uterine contraction efficient uterine contraction it is from three to five contraction per 10 minutes and each one continue, each one contraction from 40 to 60 seconds. As you see, when the score is colored, means the contraction extend from 40 to 60 seconds. How many scores here? Three. After four hours, it was three contractions per 10 minutes, then become four contractions per 10 minutes. So this is efficient uterine contraction. But there is no progress in cervical dilatation or head descent. So there is a problem here, maybe fallible with portion or obstructed labor. Uh, together associated with fetal bradycardia, bloody amniotic fluid, then become meconium stain denoting fetal distress also associated with third degree molding so all these parameters say i should take an action i should do an emergent cesarean section okay so this is 
my command on fetal well-being and the progress of labor in this part of the graph. Thank you, everybody, wishing you all the best. 